say uh, you want to do this rock uh, you want to take this rock and you want to scale it up to something like that but you kind of want to have a little bit more of a uh, detailed sort of tiling normal map that goes across here that takes away sort of the softness and smoothness of this uh, larger rock face that you're seeing here um, so in order to do that what you can do is I'm going to take this tiling texture here called rock walls and you can get a tiling normal texture from textures.com um, anywhere uh, they're pretty easy to get um, and this is very basic and uh, put together you can even um, download uh, via textures.com or the substance store just anything that kind of has a basic bit of uh, noise implied in the texture map here so I'm going to take that I'm going to paste that as a texture into the material here and then I'm going to create a series of nodes that will help this tile at a one-to-one -one scale no matter how much we scale up the rock. So essentially, um, the resolution is going to dynamically uh, stay the same no matter what we do to the scale here. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of math here. Um, math, uh, string up some math nodes to get that to work. So I'm going to right-click and I'm going to do Object Radius. So object radius, this node right here. I just need to create that. I need to uh, hit coordinates. So C-O-O-R, do a texture coordinate. I'm going to hit M to do a multiply uh, math node. I'm going to plug the object radius into A. I'm going to hit 1 to create a single parameter here. I'm going to do call this detail normal tile. And for this default value, I'm going to do a very low scale, scale 001, .001 uh, which is essentially the resolution in world space, what this texture coordinate is going to be. And I'm going to plug that into the B slot here. I'm going to create another multiply node. I'm going to plug this multiply into the A. I'm going to plug this texture coordinate into the B. And then I'm going to plug this into the UV coordinates on the texture sample here. And then I'm going to overlay this over the original normal map that we have. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to type in blend angle corrected normals, which is this node right here. And so I want to plug this into the base normal. And then this is going to be the additional normals on top. So I'm going to plug that into the additional normal right here. And then I'm going to plug this into the final normal map. And then I'm going to compile. And then you can see there, there's a bit more nice normal map texture that's going on there. So you can notice now, when I'm scaling this up and down, no matter how high I scale it, that uh, normal map texture is staying the same, which is very nice. You could have this rock really massive, and you can apply this uh, also to the diffuse map if you need to, like a diffuse tiling texture or anything like that. But you can see that that detail is staying the same scale. And if I want to scale this back down, you can see it's staying the same scale as well. And this is the really great power of the UE4 uh, material editor is it, uh, you can also rotate this too. So you have all this flexibility to take this one rock and apply it into any kind of different uh, scaling factors. You could have small boulders, you could have giant mountains and they would still carry the same textile density that would allow it to not uh, run into that problem where the texture resolution is just too small.